Capture cards are the most common things people use for some quality 3DS streaming, the only issue being that they basically cost an arm and a leg, usually more than twice as expensive as the 3DS itself. Then we have the alternative of hacking your 3DS and installing software that uses your IP to stream it to your PC, but it's often very laggy, you'll need an aux to aux cable for your 3DS, and it can often crash. So what might be the best alternative method out there? One word. Emulators. With Citra, not only can you get the exact 3DS game you're looking for easily, but you can actually make the quality higher, which can't be done on a normal 3DS, nor its streaming software. Plus, the emulator is free. In the description, there will be a list of everything you'll need for a successful plan to record Animal Crossing New Leaf through the emulator. So, without further ado, let's begin. Now let's discuss the first step. Go to the search bar on your browser and type Citra Emulator and click on the first option. This is the 3DS emulator you'll be using. Then you'll click the button that says download here. It should auto detect your setup, from which there you can click the download button. If you have a Mac with an M1 chip, this will unfortunately not work as said by the website. Then from there, go through the download process and open it up. Your directory will initially be empty, so you'll need to get a 3DS file of Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo, which there is a link down below for. It'll probably take a while to download. Then set up a folder for the game directory and put your 3DS file in there. And there you go, you got Animal Crossing for your PC just like that. Chances are you might have your Animal Crossing save data on your 3DS already, but you don't know how to get it over to the emulator. First of all, yes, you will need to hack your 3DS with custom firmware, or CFW. This is the only way you can back up the save data from your game easily. I've linked a tutorial video down below for installing CFW on 11.17, the current update number for the 3DS. Go through the whole process, and once you're done, you're going to want to open this app right here called Checkpoint. Find Animal Crossing and select it, then use the proper buttons to back up your save data to your SD card. You'll want to take your SD card out and put it into your computer. Navigate to the SD card, click on 3DS, then click on Checkpoint, click on Saves, Click on Animal Crossing, then navigate to your most recent backup, which is in the folder with this type of format. Select everything and copy it, then open Citra again and navigate to the Animal Crossing file and right click. Select Open Save Data Location. That's where you're going to copy everything over to. And finally, this next step is optional, but depending on how your computer is, you can select Emulation, Configure, then go to Graphics. If you change the internal resolution to something higher such as 2000 by 1200 which is what I use for my videos, your game will be a lot more HD compared to the other capture cards. And as you can see here, my save data has been successfully transferred to the emulator for me to enjoy and for me to record. Pay attention to this next part though, as it is an unfortunate issue with the emulator. If you have a best friends list in Animal Crossing, which is where this tab is with the yellow heart, Citra will get confused by it, and if you try to save and quit, it will be stuck saving for an infinite amount of time. You cannot turn it off before going into the emulator, as it will automatically be turned back on. And you cannot turn it off in the emulator either, as it will freeze the game. There are two ways you can mitigate this issue before backing up your save data. For one, if you're not using your best friends list anymore, you can remove everyone from the list, which will allow you to save and quit without issue. If you want to keep your best friends in touch easily on your 3DS, then in order to save your data in the emulator, you will have to use the save and continue option, then quit the game. Saving and continuing still works easily, just do your best to remember to avoid saving and quitting in that case.
Finally, you're all ready to go for streaming or recording. I use OBS to record where I use Window Capture and select Citra, then I resize it to where I feel best fits, which is basically the full screen. Then I use a free OBS plugin that allows for me to capture sound from Citra. Then if you're a commentary kind of person like me, you can add your microphone or speaker, which is what I do. I also connect headphones to my computer and put them on so the audio from the game doesn't repeat back into my microphone. Also, if you have a console controller such as an Xbox or PlayStation controller of any kind, there are ways online you can find out how to install drivers for them to your computer, which you can connect to Citra. I use a PS3 controller for all of my gameplay. From there, you can open your editing software and do what you like. I mask out the black background for mine and add an outline. Then you can put what you want around it, such as your channel name or your profile photo, but it's ultimately all up to you in this case. Once you're done recording, though, you probably want to put your save data back into your 3DS so your changes are properly saved. With your SD card in your PC, I recommend you create a folder called ACNL or something related on the root of your SD card for easy access. Then, right-click on the game in Citra and select Open Save Data Location. Select everything, then copy and paste it over to the new folder, take out your SD card, and put it back in your 3DS. Now, navigate to the app titled FBI and click on it. Once it's open, click on SD, click on ACNL, click on Current Directory, then click on Copy All Contents. It should copy everything for you, and once that's done, go back until you've returned to where you originally were. Then, scroll down to Titles, find Animal Crossing, scroll down and click on Browse Save Data. Click on Current Directory, then click Paste. It will override your previous save data, and if anything goes wrong, you already have a checkpoint backup and it's still on Citra. From there, you can open Animal Crossing again, and the changes you made while you were recording should be there. That's basically it for the tutorial. Now you're all ready to make some Animal Crossing New Leaf videos. Let me know in the comments if you need help, if I missed something important, or if you'd like me to clarify something. I hope this tutorial helped and I hope you have a great time making some nostalgic high quality Animal Crossing content for others to see.